Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial on Ordnance Survey Maps. We're going to look at in particular how to measure height on an Ordnance Survey Map. Um, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out more videos if you like on our YouTube channel or on our website and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Okay so there's, a few, there's four main ways that we can show height on an Ordnance Survey Map and these are contour lines okay so the first one is a contour line and this is a way that we that we can represent height in Northern Survey map and contour lines are these lines that you see in the map and they're like little circles okay now they're not exactly circles because they do they do like t take different shapes but they basically go the whole way around and each one of these so this one here is 7000 meters above sea level but, so that means that this one here is going to be 7010 Seven thousand and twenty, and so and so on, and you go all the way in, and you'll find that it finishes up in here at seven thousand two hundred meters above sea level. The second one is the spot heights, okay. And as you can see, right in the center here, so these are contour lines. These lines here, so 10, 20, 30, 40. But this bit in here, where it's got a little spot, you can see a little spot on it just a bit there. It says a spot, and it has forty-seven m. So that means that's a spot height, and that means that's forty-seven meters above sea level. The next one is triangulation pillars or triangulation stations and these are these little triangles that you can see here where it's got the little triangle and then it has two seven six so basically just a triangle it'll be a little triangle and then I'll have two seven six or I'll have a triangle I could have four four one and basically that just represents the height above sea level so this one here you can see a triangle here it says two seven six so it's two hundred and seventy six meters above sea level. And the fourth way in which we can uh, measure the height is colour, okay? And how we do this is green is usually used to represent lowlands. So an example would be land up to 200 metres is usually in green. And anything above 200 metres, we will start to change to the colour brown. And the higher the land is, the darker the brown becomes. So as you can see here, most of this area is here is, is below 200 metres because it's green. But this area here must be above 200 meters because it's changed that kind of brown color. And as you can see, it's 254. This here is 287, 276. Now if this changed to say four, 500, 600 meters above the ground, we would get a much darker ground, uh, brown color. So color is, is one way that, is another way that we use to, uh, to show height in Ordnance Survey map. So that's it for this tutorial uh, on Ordnance Survey Maps. Really, really quickly, just looking at height and how height is shown on an Ordnance Survey Map. If you liked my video, can you please let me know, comment, uh, tweet me. Um, I'd really appreciate some feedback. Because obviously the more feedback that I get, the more it inspires me to, to, to want to make more videos and to try to help you even more. Thanks, guys.